Hi, friends. It's Lisa Hetrick, illustrator for Gina K Designs, and I'm so grateful you could join me today. I have a really fun card project to share with you today that is a bit of a mashup of two different sets and a stencil and some really fun new supplies. So, so I'm easing back into card making into 2021 here, and I really just kind of wanted to play a little bit. So here is the card that we're going to create today, and it's kind of inspired by geometric shapes, and I'm going to mash up a bunch of supplies to create this fun, whimsical card. Okay, so here are the supplies. But remember, the supplies are always listed below in the description. So I'm going to be using this a little love layering stencil bundle from Gina K Designs, and I'm pairing it up with my Something Good stamp set in this geometric shape and some of the leaves and greenery. I've got the companion dies that are a part of the set, and I'm also using the master layouts die. I've got some new tools here, and again, all the tools will be listed in the description, and I am loving this new blender tool from Gina K. Here are the colors I'm going to be working with, sea glass, turquoise sea, jelly bean green, and cherry red. So let's talk about the paper supplies. I'm using the master layouts die to create that layer for my A2 sized card. Now my card is in jelly bean green and I'm using watercolor paper for my card base and for my die cut elements. So let's go ahead and get started because we're going to do a little bit of watercolor painting as well. I've got my sea glass ink and I've just mashed it down onto my mat here and I'm just getting it nice and juicy, adding some water to it. Um, the Gina K Designs inks are water-based. They're perfect for watercoloring and I really love this sea glass color and it's going to give me that soft background color that I'm trying to achieve. I'm creating a lot of layers here in this card without adding a lot of height. So this is a great way to do that. I'm just getting into the flow here and painting just random circles. Now, the whole design of this card is going to be worked out in threes. And what I mean by that is that all of the design elements on the card are going to be done in threes. So I have these circles and I'm just cascading them across the watercolor paper from the top to the left hand side to the bottom in threes. And this look and feel is going to help ground my design so that I know where I'm going to place my other stamped images. And I'm just loving the sea glass. It's super simple, painting out these circles and just that beautiful pale color. I just love that. Okay, I'm going to take my watercolor paper and I'm going to set it to the side while I go ahead and we'll move on to the next step. So now we're going to work with the stencil from the stencil bundle. And I love this flower in the stencil. A, it's very graphic. So it's going to be a really great choice for this geometric inspired kind of card. And I'm using a piece of watercolor paper here. And again, the watercolor paper I'm using is listed below in the description. And I'm using cherry red and blending it using the stencil and blending it on the watercolor paper. I'm not gonna wet the watercolor paper. I'm using the Gina K Designs blending tool and I'm focusing a lot of the color in the center. And as you can see, the color on the outer edges with the cherry red, I'm getting some variety, sort of an ombre like look and feel with that color. And as I pull it a little closer to the camera, doing this technique on watercolor paper, it allows you to see all the little speckles in the ink. So the water-based ink is sitting on top of the watercolor paper and kind of embedding into the crevices of the paper. And you get a little bit of extra texture and dimension without adding the height to the embellishment. 
Okay, so I'm just taking the stamp, this coordinating stamp that's part of the bundle, and I'm inking it up with the cherry red, and I'm going to stamp that right down into the center. And it's going to give me a bit of a tone-on-tone -tone look, but it also draws your eye to the center of that flower a little bit more. And I just love that. So I'm taking the die cuts. I've got the love die, and I also have the coordinating die for the flower. And I've run them through my Platinum 6, and here they are. These are the two beautiful die cuts. And I'm going to leave the love die plain white watercolor paper. It's very thick. I'm loving it. Okay, so let's start to pull all of this together. I'm coming back to the card base, the watercolor card base, and we're going to start to stamp out the geometric shape from the Something Good stamp set. And I love this shape because it's a really great image to stamp. You can use it with any of your stamp sets. And it just gives you a nice geometric kind of uh, element to your card that you can use to anchor sentiments with. Um, in this case, I'm going to do it in threes but in the opposite direction of my circles. So I'm gonna start in that upper left-hand corner with the turquoise C, and then come to the right, of, right side of the card in the middle, and then down to the bottom. So I'm inking up the stamp in the turquoise C, and I'm just getting it nice and juicy and stamping it right onto that watercolor paper. Now, the watercolor paper is dry, so I'm just stamping right on it, and you, I'm not getting it wet and not letting the color spread or anything. I'm just having some fun, getting back into the groove of making cards and just playing with my supplies here. So you can see that I'm stamping out that geometric shape. I just love this frame. It's so versatile. And I've just did the opposite in threes. And now I've got a really interesting kind of layout kind of happening here, a really interesting card base starting to happen. I've got three circles and now I have three geometric shapes. So there's some movement going. And now it's time to start to add a little bit more dimension without the height. So I know that the embellishment, that beautiful flower stencil, is going to go somewhere in the middle, but I want that flower to have some greenery behind it. Now this color combination just really pops together. The two blues and the green and that pop of cherry red. So I'm going to take some jelly bean green and just kind of anchor some leafery to the out from underneath it. So coincidentally, the, the leafery is going to kind of line up between where the geometric shapes are. So you can see it's kind of going out here to the left, and then I'm going to take it, turn it a little bit, and then stamp it up in that upper right-hand corner. And that little bit of space in between, that's where the, um, the, the flower is going to sit on top of it. Now the colors are starting to come together and we're starting to see this design just kind of work together and I just love it. Um, all of these layers and this texture and dimension is happening and there isn't any height to the card yet. So it's kind of really just fun. I just love it. And I picked that leafery because it kind of looks like there's little tiny hearts inside of the um, leaves. And I kind of I did that on purpose when I designed the set. So, okay, so let's talk about assembling the card. So I am taking that master layouts um, piece, and I've added it to the jelly bean green cardstock. I love the jelly bean green. It's just so beautiful. Just put a little bit of foam squares, Gina K foam squares on the back of that floral and just put it right there and just kind of popped it. Now, all of these colors are kind of meshing together and blending together. So these four colors make a great color combination to kind of work with. It's one of my favorite color combinations to work with for holiday cards, but I just love it all year round. And that cherry red stencil floral in the center just pops and just makes it so vibrant. 
Okay, so I was considering doing a little bit of splatter, but I remembered that in that stamp set, in the Something Good stamp set, there is already a splatter stamp. So if you feel splatter challenged or you're a little bit concerned about doing that, quite a few of my stamp sets in the Gina K line have splatter-like images in them, and this is one of my favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and ink that up with the sea glass and just put a little bit of splatter and it's going to go over a little bit into the jelly bean green and that's okay. And I'm going to anchor them in the geometric frame shape and I just love it. Okay, so now I'm moving on and adding the love die and I want it, we've got so much color going on on this card base. I want that love die to just be, that die cut to just be white watercolor paper. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the back and I'm lining up that little loop in the V with anchoring it actually up against that geometric frame to just kind of position it there. It's hanging over a little bit on that jelly bean green and it gives it a little bit of extra whimsy and I just love that. And I've layered that love stamp, I mean that love die cut, excuse me, right over top of the stenciled flower. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of these sequins and embellishments. I love this really simple red embellishments. I'm gonna add three in the opposite direction. So again, in the beginning I talked about threes. I've got, and I'm using threes to help me create this design. Ah, let's take a final look at the card. I'm digging it. I love getting all of this texture and dimension and layers in this card without adding all of that extra height. Loving that swoosh in the V and how it just kind of creeps out a little bit into that jelly bean green. Look at how blending on that watercolor paper gives us a little bit of extra speckle and like dot-like extra texture and dimension. It's just been a fun card to just kind of get back into the groove, make a super fun card and craft my joy. Thanks so much for watching. Please consider sharing the joy by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. And I'm sharing more card and watercolor tutorial videos for your inspiration right here. So come on in and take a peek at my tutorials. I have a lot to share and I'll see you next time.